All right, Brian, pretty much every handy guy has a drill like this, or they ought to. Right. And like many handy guys or handy gals, they don't read the instructions, and they go to operate it, and usually it works, but there's some settings on these drills, and I want to know what they do. All right, well, let's talk about it up next on The Handy Guys. All right, Brian, so it's not a complicated device, but there are some controls on this. The, the, the one that's very obvious that I don't think we need to talk about too much is that there's a forward and reverse. Right, that's pretty day. obvious, right? Yeah. So, Paul, on this drill, we have two different speeds. We have a, a one and a two, and two is faster than one when you're doing a full press of the trigger. Right. But this drill also has what they call a clutch. Well, before you go to the clutch, okay. though, isn't there some more differences between one and two? It's well, faster, yeah. but doesn't one also ha use a different gear, has more power? That's right. So a one is going to be slower, but it's going to have more torque, a little more power. Okay. Now, when you're drilling, you're typically going to want to be on the faster speed. So um, I, I know on occasion, like if I'm putting a lag screw into a beam or something and it's struggling, then I'll put it down right. to one, so, slow it down and get more power. Well, that's right. Because we're talking about two different things. We're talking about drilling holes or driving screws. Right. And they're two different operations okay. on a drill. So typically for drilling, we want it on the high speed, unless we're using a really wide bit, then we want to slow it down. But typically we're going to be on the high speed when we're driving screws. We want a little more power, a little more torque, so we're going to go to the slower speed. Okay. And that's related to the clutch. The so the clutch. Cl the clutch, when you're drilling holes, all of the clutches, if we can get our camera guy to get a close up on this, will have a drill setting. And what that means is there's going to be uh, no point at which this stops turning. The clutch is used for setting when the drill will stop turning when it meets a certain amount of resistance. So I'm going to hold this and you'll you'll hear it. Yeah. Okay. So there are times you actually don't want to over drill something to have too much power. You can reduce the power so that it actually stops when it gets to that resistant point. Exactly. So when you're driving screws, if you want to drive it to a certain depth, you kind of would adjust this uh, until you got it just to the right depth and then the drill will stop driving at that point. So it's usually something you uh, kind of use by feel here on exactly. what setting you want. There's no exactly. guide that says like, you know, like when you bake a cake, it says put it on number nine. No, or... it's going to depend on the size of the screw you're driving, if you have a pilot okay. hole or not, the kind of wood you're going into. Personally, I just always leave it on the drill setting because you can also regulate that with the trigger. Right. Right. So as you're driving it, you can just let off when you know it needs to be let off. Now, I, I know that on some drills, especially bigger hammer drills, if you have it in this setting, you can get so much torque that that thing could actually flip out of your hand. So sometimes for safety reasons, I've seen sure, experience sure. where it's good to turn it down a little bit <laughs> so you don't get hurt. <laughs> uh, but possibly. this drill, that's probably not the case. Right, right, right. So You'll break the bit before you break your hand. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, so those are the basic okay. settings, forward, reverse, your speed setting, and your clutch. So, so we're going to put it in the setting that you said I usually, whoops, the wrong way, all the way up to the drill setting, which just shows a picture of a drill bit or something. That's right. And that's where it's going to be when you're drilling, and you're 90% of the time going to be in the high speed. So even if you have three drilling. numbers, you'll put it on three. Right. If, and if that's you have right. two. Okay, there you have it. So that's how you operate. A simple drill like this, a uh, cordless drill. We like this one an awful lot. You need one if you don't have one. So that's all, right. all we have for the handy right. guys. Thanks.